Following transforming elements, we'll go into styling elements and sections. Let's start with sections first. So we're going to click on the section header here, and we're going to see background here. We'll go ahead and click on container, and we'll have some options to add more backgrounds. We can add an image, a fill, or a gradient. We already have a gradient in place, so I'll go ahead and just click image and select image. Great. We already have a nice beach scene right here, so we'll go ahead and add that. But now you can't see the text, so let's fix that. The really nice thing about this is you can apply overlays fairly easily. As you can see in our container, we have our image on top. Our gradient's still there, but it's behind. So let's move that. You can just click and reposition. Now the gradient's on top. Let's change this from 100 to 10. And now you can see our text a little bit better. So from there, let's go into how to style elements. For elements, you can do much like you would sections. For background, you can add a fill, you can add an image, and you can add a gradient. For text specifically though, you're gonna be looking at typography and things like that. So you're gonna have two different areas to do that. You can do that in the container, or you can do that in the actual H1, H2, H3, or body fonts. We usually to keep that to the body fonts. So let's check out H1. We have this font family sent to EXO. We have style ultra bold. We have size 120. We also have some other options, like we can keep sentence case, uppercase, lowercase. Let's just keep that normal for now. Now, if you want to add more fonts, we'll have a, more tutorials on that. But you can just simply go to more fonts, connect to Google library. You can put your Adobe API key in and get Adobe fonts, or you can upload your own custom fonts. If you do upload your own custom fonts, please upload all the files, not just one. Perfect, let's go back. Also for text, we can set things like padding and margin. We can add a border if we want to. You can do that to the container itself, but or again, the H1. You can also set border radius. So for instance, if I have a white border, I can choose the border, the border radius in the container to be five, and that gives it a rounded edge, just like that. Other than that, we can add a shadow. So maybe that makes it a little bit more legible. Now you can see that this added it to the border because it's a shadow on the container. But if you do a text shadow, that'll add it to the text itself itself. Again, we're going to choose H1 and there we go. So let's remove that from the container and let's also remove the border. Now, one of the things to mention here too, Oh, lastly, you can add opacity here. You can go from 100 to zero if you'd like. Now, one of the last things to mention here is shared styles. These are extremely powerful when you're building out a robust component library or just adhering to design guidelines. It's the same principle as set it once and forget it. So right now, we've done a few things to this text that we haven't done to this. We've added a te text shadow, uh, namely. So what we can do is we can add a new shared style and we can call this text style. And this will be our basic style for all the site. Now what we've done is we set up our H1, but you can also set your H2, H3, H4 in a similar way. We're going to go to this text. We're going to go to shared style and click on text style. Now you can see that has addressed the text shadow also on this text. So that's just the starting of styles and elements, but I highly recommend for you to go through yourself and see what you can create.